Hi everyone. I thought I'd do a quick Saturday morning video just before I head off to the shops and take a certain gorgeous young man off to the skate park. What I've done recently is written three blogs about oral hygiene, particularly how to clean in between your teeth. Seriously, this has got to be the hardest thing to get people to do. Um, we're all full of good intentions about cleaning between our teeth, but often it doesn't translate into action. And a lot of people say to me, well, what do you do, Rachel? Because they want to know that I'm also cleaning between my teeth and not just all talk and no action. So I actually use all three of the things that I spoke about in my blogs. So I use the little interdental brushes. I love these guys. I use dental floss or in my case tape. I'm a tape girl more than a floss girl. I like the wideness of it and it hurts my gums less and I also use, I didn't bring the whole gadget in, I also use a water flosser. Now how the hell do I do that without spending the whole night in the bathroom? Well it's simple, I don't spend the whole night in the bathroom but every night of the week I will do one of those three and I'll do it really well. So why do I do that? The reason is that if you read my blogs, you'll discover that every technique has strengths, but it also has weaknesses. It has things that it can't do or doesn't do so well. So what happens if I floss three nights of the week, use the uh, interdental brushes three nights of the week, and then give my teeth a beautiful clean with the water flosser one night of the week, what happens is I've covered every base and the strengths seem to add together and the weaknesses get sort of neutralized out by the fact that you're sharing the job between the three different uh, styles of cleaning. So that's how I do it. And I make sure I do it every night, even if I kind of have that, oh, I'll do it tomorrow night. No, no, no. I've made that commitment to myself and to my health. I'm going to do one of my three and make sure that my mouth is in a great state. So I hope this tip helps you and helps you understand that you don't have to be a one trick pony. You can spread it out, use different things to get an amazing result. Anyway, have a lovely day, everyone. Bye now.